if your google ads is not working then you have to watch this video in full because in this video i am going to discuss a similar query uh, for a client whose google ads was not working and i shared few ideas and few strategies you know so let's start it on this let's get started on this okay so the question is uh, google ads not working uh, health insurance man i have literally tried everything at this point i have tested skag uh, skag means single keyword ad group where you know you create a, a, you know uh, a different ad for each keyword and mixed uh, rsas uh, responsive search ads with call ads to try to boost quality score switching bidding strategies messed with devices added negative rebuild structure optimize the landing page fix tracking issues swap setups and back and forth you name it i have spent months testing and burned a, a lot of money just trying to figure out, figure this out the right way i got it down to about 80 dollar uh, 80 per call doing 30 a day but i can't crack scaling it profitability or consistently no matter what i change i have asked around uh, watch staff uh, try to learn from everyone i can but it still feels like i'm uh, stuck in the same uh, loop at this point i'm honestly just drained and about to give up on it okay so first of all you are lucky because you are getting some uh, leads and calls because i have seen clients you know who even get a do not get a single uh, lead or a call and they try almost everything so you know there may be few reasons why this happens and your google ads just not working uh, the few reasons let's start it is uh, uh, you are trying to fast okay okay this is uh, something you know uh, which is uh, you know most of the people uh, do not accept it but if you keep on changing multiple strategies a day you know uh, if you're trying too fast you know this can be a result uh, uh, in you know uh, in when you will not able to get uh, the data because the google ads campaigns uh, often goes into learning stage and uh, if you are trying a different strategy at a very fast speed the chances are uh, that you will end up uh, messing around so this is one thing you know which i think the uh, highlight second you also discuss regarding the quality score okay so the quality score also plays a crucial role specifically specifically when deciding your uh, uh, cost per click and if i move on to my account uh, for instance this is one of the account and if i move on to the keyword tab over here uh, you just have to go in your over here and look for your status and you may often found your quality score over here so the quality score also plays a crucial role so the second thing i think is quality score and because you already discussed regarding the quality score so uh, the quality score may be not an issue uh, the third thing you know which i often uh, because i have audited different accounts and you know the most common thing is uh, tracking okay uh, tracking uh, believe me you know uh, hundreds of accounts and still they are not uh, doing that uh, tracking setup so this is another aspect over here which can be the reason uh, why uh, uh, you know the people are not getting sales or lead but you already discussed regarding uh, that you have done that uh, tracking issue and you have sorted it down now another thing i discussed regarding is heat map okay the heat map you have not discussed but the, what what is the good thing regarding heat map is specifically pinpoint the area where people are coming and visiting your website and spending time around so this can help you uh, in optimizing apart from this anti fraud click setup okay there are various tools available as well and uh, uh, i also help clients uh, with this as well uh, that if you need a <coughs> uh, that you need to install anti fraud click setups or you need to behavior ip to ip behavior of each visitor so that you can track and later on uh, remove those ips if uh, there are multiple clicks coming from the same ip and are not practically doing anything on your website so this can be an analytical thing so i will keep it separate from the tracking because the tracking is more into tag manager conversion setup but the analytical side is more regarding an analyzing your <coughs> data and you can also uh, link it with heat map as well so this can be another thing as well apart from this i think my competitor analysis uh, is something you know which uh, is not being discussed in your scenario over here there could be uh, you need to understand the competitor analysis uh, you know this could be another crucial factor in optimizing your sales uh, uh, what are they doing what is their ad copy what is their uh, landing page uh, your offer versus their offer your landing page versus their landing page this can also help also seasonal or local changes 
okay you might be aware because you are targeting a spin, uh, pin point location i do not know your uh, target markets but seasonal changes in your location could be another reason why uh, uh, if your google ads is not working there could be some seasonal change some market demand temporary or maybe permanent so you need to understand the insights of the specific market as well so this could be another reason why your google ads is not working and regarding you discuss regarding your uh, bidding strategies over here that uh, uh, you discussed regarding switched bidding strategy. So what bidding strategy you use? I for new new campaigns I recommend going with maximize conversions and then uh, maximize clicks and then going to maximize conversions for most of the clients uh, However, I also recommend impression share as well uh, depending upon you know some uh, ads are only perform better at top positions but do not perform better at uh, below positions so for them i recommend impression share uh, bidding strategy uh, sometimes i recommend maximize conversion with tcpa so but uh, tcpa is also for mature campaigns not for the new campaigns so please try to understand uh, that this can be a scenario over here as well that you may need to move to maximize conversion TCP rather than trying all the bidding strategies because this can eventually mess up your campaign and too many frequent changes without knowing uh, data can help uh, can actually make it worse also i think uh, you had discussed regarding uh, your uh, 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 i mean uh, you discussed regarding call ads so i think that ad assets can play a crucial role as well so ever looked on uh, ad assets apart from uh, you know uh, calls uh, let me show you uh, now this is a simple ad and ad assets what they do is if i add different ad assets you know uh, look around they have optimized my ad make it more authentic uh, more reliable and more trustable i'm also showing deals as well so this could be something that we can use either of these ad assets to optimize our ad and this can also bring crucial sales apart from this if you are monitoring your search terms behavior this can tell you a lot if uh, there are there is any random traffic coming around also another thing is the intent of the keyword is very important are you uh, looking around for this as well that the intent of the keyword plays a crucial another imp uh, crucial role why because uh, you need to understand with the wide psyche uh, someone is visiting your website so this can tell a lot and this can be the reason why your ad is working or not working so i think i will you know uh, give some weightage for this as well the intent of the keyword plus i think uh, my timings uh, of the day, uh, day schedules, okay, this is something you need to spend around. You may need to run for some time to understand or you may need to get data from your competitor analysis if you are using specific tools. We do have tools as well and I have discussed the tools as well uh, in other lectures as well. Uh, but uh, the uh, tools can help you uh, for competitors to see but look around what times of the day work well for you what days are working well for you is is it monday working well for you is it something with first second or third you know sometimes what happens is i have seen clients you know for the first 15 days of the month the sales are very good in the last 15 days are the sales are average maybe the reason is uh, people have spent their money so is it something with their spending as well try to analyze on that figure as well that can be a thing as well for instance you know if there is any local events coming around uh, so people may be saving up for a specific event so maybe the people are spending less due to an occasion coming in the area or region so try to understand this as well there can be a an event like i discussed regarding seasonal changes so there could be in some events as well why the google ads is not working please believe me that if uh, uh, your competitor is running well and getting good leads just mean that you should also be getting good leads so if you are not getting good leads so there may be problems somewhere so i think that uh, these aspects could be a good way to determine uh, what's working well for you or apart from this i think that the location targeting is another important thing you know locations uh, is important if you're targeting bulk locations uh, they may be not be beneficial so you need to pinpoint specific target areas you need to find out your urban areas rural areas where your product may or service may be in demand create specific uh, campaigns for those areas rather than targeting whole regions or locations my opinion or my weightage is going to be target specific locations or areas uh, and create specific campaigns for them for instance i'm targeting uh, new jersey i can create a specific campaign and if the best deal is i'm targeting three to four cities and in each city i can create even specific campaigns for specific areas in that city so that is how i can get the pinpoint data 
and then maybe sometimes you know when uh, you differentiate between uh, some areas are good in your uh, in a particular uh, city and some uh, not good so you need to even go deep down to analyze what areas are working well in each city at which time which day so these are the things you know which is why your google ads is working well or not well so this is another important aspect apart from this your campaign settings uh, can play sometimes a role as well for instance if your campaign settings if i move on to the campaign settings i have seen you know a few aspects where optimization can be i think as well you know for instance in the network some people have enabled the search partner and this could be a reason you may be the burning money or if you have mixed your campaigns with search network and display network together this can also mess up your campaign so this is also another wrong campaign structure can also be another reason why it's not working well so i think that uh, i will put some weightage for this as well apart from this uh, if i look around on my uh, conversion goals are fine or not my budget is fine uh, you know my conversion goals you may see around over here and then the bidding strategy i have already discussed regarding the bidding strategy sometimes a customer acquisition is another important aspect where you bid for new customers only if you have a product which is a one time sale and not a recurring or something you know people may not buy it again sooner so you can only select the bid for new customers so this setting can also play a rule a rule over here and uh, apart from this uh, you may lo look around in the locations tab when you look around in the location tab there is a location option and where people uh, by default presence or interest is selected but i recommend going with only presence only and this can also deep down improve your targeting because what happens with presence or interest is people from other area may be uh, clicking on your ad so this can be another uh, thing people may have visited your area but not now in your area and seeing that so which is why it's better to target the uh, presence over over here and then the languages i do not uh, recommend going with all languages but rather a single language and this can also help uh, also setting your date match also the keyword match type can be a role as well keyword match type so i think i was able i was just about to forget this but i uh, got it right now and uh, i will even leave this as well uh, you know for a new slide so the keyword uh bidding keyword type can also uh, play a role my recommendation is to go with a phrase match or exact match and this can you know uh, help you in optimizing and uh, getting uh, more sales uh, so yeah if it's not working well for you so then uh, do up for this uh, strategies to optimize and uh, sometimes i recommend going with ai max but ai max was not <laughs> working at a start but over the time ai max has also helped so i may re recommend uh, turning on the turn on ai max uh, for some campaigns but uh, not for all but ai max has definitely improved over the time so which is another thing as well uh, for some people dynamic search ads you know where the ads automatically change according uh, you know the queries can help uh, the ad rotation is enabled or not so this can also be a reason and may maybe your ad copy has got down old and maybe need a refresh so this can be a reason so these are the things you know which i think are the crucial you know uh, getting more sales and leads if specifically google ads is not working well for you so i try to discuss in detail i hope you like this and uh, thank you for watching take care and bye bye